Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. This video I'll be talking about an architecture that we are using to ingest uh, nearly roughly around 90 to 100 million records into Elasticsearch or OpenSearch, whatever you want to call it. So I'm about to share this architecture with you uh, uh, right now. All right, all right, so let's get started. So we have a lot of files essentially, uh, you know, we need to ingest those files essentially into Elasticsearch. The architecture that I'm about to show you uh, will be used to ingest about 89 to 100 million records uh, roughly. Uh, the architecture, so the use case is like this. There are some files or actually not some, sorry. There are many files on data lake, right? And all those files needs to be ingested, right? So in order to do this, on scale, right? What we are planning here essentially is we have a job target internal batch framework. If you want to read more about that on how we made the internal batch framework, which currently is pro which currently processes about 1.5 terabyte worth of data. So the links would be in the description. I have a blog, so please check that out. So what this does is essentially this batch framework iterates over the data lake and essentially puts the keys of these um, files to the SQS, okay? Now here, uh, we have a Lambda. I, I will talk a little bit of the Lambda. We have Datadog, uh, Datadog layers, right? So a Python library of a Datadog client. We have a Pandas library here on the Lambda, right? And then essentially, um, what this does is essentially the Lambda has to read the data, read the data uh, based on a given key, okay? Now you'll say, okay, that makes sense. Why do you have a Dynamo and a DAX up? Uh, let, let me explain you. So uh, in order to essentially, in order to uh, ingest documents for machine learning, uh, you know, all those vectors are essentially stored in the DynamoDB. So for example, let's say I'm, I'm looking for job titles, right? So what I would do is I would store the, the part, I would have the partition key as, a, so I would convert the job title into a hash and that becomes my partition key. Um, then my sort key would be essentially my job title and the, another column would be a vector, which would be a n-dimension vector, right? So uh, all of these vectors are stored on the lookup table on the DynamoDB. We have a DAX, which means, you know, uh, so that we could get items much more faster. It's essentially a cache for Dynamo. So we are running, uh, uh, you know, a standalone API gateway Lambda that essentially given a, a, given an item or a record, it will look up on the Dynamo and it will give us the corresponding vector. So now this file, uh, you know, the S3 key comes to the Lambda function. Now the Lambda function reads the data from, uh, you know, S3 uh, and then it converts into a Pandas data frame. Once it's in the Pandas data frame, then essentially we process the data. We do some pre-processing steps, right? Once that is done for each item, we do a lookup on Dynamo because we need the vectors for that, right? to implement machine learning and other cool stuff. So we essentially take the vectors from Dynamo, essentially a cache, so we could essentially have it very, very fast, all right? Now, uh, as you can see, you know, once the uh, data frame is populated with all the vectors, uh, we do a batch put records or batch records on Kinesis data stream. A data stream is connected to a Firehose. Firehose is connected to a classy S3, uh, you know, and then it goes to the Elasticsearch. Uh, all the data is automatically copied to the bucket in the raw folder and also we have a cross-region replication which means every single data is replicated in the bucket, you know. So that's that. Now some interesting facts here is um, we can essentially control how much we want to fan out, right? So say I want to read, so each file has about roughly uh, 60, 70,000 records, right? Now, if I want to fan out, I can set up reserved concurrency. So it, technically with Amazon, with cloud, I can essentially read a thousand files at a time, which means I'll fire up 1000 lambdas. I'll set essentially a reserved concurrency to thousand, which means, uh, you know, thousand uh, workers or, or let's say consumers are going to consume those S3 keys. The job is each consumer gets one key, reads the data, each Lambda reads the data, processes the data, uh, does the lookup on the cache on the DynamoDB, and there's a DAX, so which means it's super, super fast, right? Um, so it does that, and once uh, the data frame is, uh, you know, once we have the data frame, we populate or we dump the data to the, f to the data stream, data stream goes to the Firehose, Firehose dumps data to S3, another Firehose dumps data to straight back to the Elasticsearch, 
you have a cross bucket replication that replicates the data into a different region. Uh, here on this bucket, we set up a lifecycle policy and object logs and essential inversions. Uh, uh, these, the, the, the storage type is standard right here. And over here in the replicated bucket, we make sure the data is rep, uh, encrypted using KMS. And also, once the uh, data is there, it, yeah, we make sure that it is uh, standard infrequent ac access, right? So, so that uh, we save some money on that part as well. Um, as you can see, the beauty about this architecture is, you know, we can easy. So if you see the batch framework that we have or step function, whatever you want to call, all it does is it has to read the keys from the S3 lake and just dump the keys to the uh, SQS. Now, based on the reserved concurrency that I have said, the lambdas are going to fan out those many invocations would be, you know, fired up, right? Like 100,000, depending upon how much I have. They'll read the file simultaneously. They'll do the lookup. So we have a DAG, so that's fine. Dynamo can, it's meant to, you know, uh, handle many requests, so that's fine. We set it up to auto scaling, right? So that's good. So all that happens, and and and, and you know, uh, we have the data into the Elasticsearch. Pretty neat architecture, right? Now, if you wanna essentially, you know, increase the throughput of your uh, uh, lookup, that is Dynamo. So, so, so the microservice or internal cache that we call, right? So what we can do is essentially um, we can deploy this microservice into a multiple region. We can follow a multi-AZ architecture where you, we deploy it in US East 1, US East 2, and then we put Route 53 and we do the traffic based on latency, right? Uh, so that uh, we can automatically scale up, um, you know, uh, since we are on, on Amazon, right? So that's the beauty, right? So this is a very simple yet robust architecture to populate uh, data into open search, elastic search, with help of uh, SQS, Lambda, Batch Framework, API Gateway, DynamoDB, DAX, uh, Kinesis Data Stream, Firehose, S3. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if I get a chance, I'll try to show you an implementation on my personal account. All right, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this architecture and I will see you guys in the next video.